Imagine what this look like if you don't have technical background and you feel like you have no PM experience, but you really want to become a PM because this is your dream company and your dream profession. You are actually love creating product for other people, but there's a huge challenge in front of you in kind of technical background and also your own past experience. But what if I tell you that other people had actually made it happen within three months? and you can do it as well. You just need to push through your dream and challenges. Today, I had the pleasure to invite our alumni, Tina Chan, to share with you guys how she was able to conquer all the challenges and become a successful product manager within three months. And even if she had no technical background, no PM experience, but she was able to become one of those role models inspired millions of women out there. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, please go to pmaccelerator.io to learn more. To learn the most effective way to become product manager, you should subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button and like this video so you'll be notified every time I post a new video every week. Hi Tina, how are you? So glad to have you on our show. Hi, Nancy. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm so glad to Long time talk no to see. you. Yeah, you have gra you graduated like a few months ago. Feels eight like eight months ago. Eight months ago. Eight months ago. Awesome. Yeah, feels like that's like eight months have changed a lot, especially you have been doing so well for your new uh, career. I'm so glad for you now uh, share with all the audience, especially lots of women out there or even men and women or, or Im immigrants that feel like they don't have as much of knowledge and background and you had a breakthrough. I'm so glad you're, you're sharing this with us. Can you do a quick introduction of yourself? Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Tina and I am currently a PM at Zero. Uh, on the side, I love building products. So I have an e-commerce store and I love creating stuff. So I have a YouTube channel sharing my PM journey, how I break in with no experience at all. Awesome. So Tina's YouTube channel is very popular. We're going to link it in the description <laughs> of this video. Everyone <laughs> needs to follow it. I, I, I am trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> You're too humble. Uh, awesome. We were uh, waiting to see the next YouTube star out of our alumni community. Awesome. Cool. So Tina, um, you mentioned that you actually came from customer success background. You have no experience. Um, that sounds like huge challenges for all the aspiring product managers um, thinking about breaking into PM. Can you tell us regarding what are those top three challenges you have and how exactly you conquer those challenges? Right. Um, the top challenges that I had is first, um, I always, when I'm in the program, I always see other students, they have like great background. They have consulting, they are from big four, and then they are like, they have computer science degree, they are data, data scientists, and Fun fact, my career started as when I was a uh, customer service and customer service and tech is just so irrelevant. And my biggest fear is I don't have the skill set to break into it. And that's like a biggest challenge. Um, that's like first. And then second biggest challenge is that whenever I, I send out my resume, I just don't have response because my background is all like very customer centric. But then when, you know, like a lot of a company, they use the AI to filter out the uh, resumes because my resume is very customer centric. So when I send it in, I will just get like, I just have no response. So I can't even land an interview. So that's my biggest challenge. And uh, my third challenge is that because I don't have experience, although I have like relevant experience, like working on project with my previous companies around like PM stuff, but I don't know how to package it in a way that it's going to make me stand out. Um, so that's like my three biggest challenge. I cannot stand out. I don't get call from HRs and I don't have technical background. So Tina sounds like huge challenges. Um, and people will be scared, but you push it through. Can you tell us how do you solve these challenges starting the first one? Starting with the first one without technical degree. Okay, so I just have to tell everyone that this is like biggest myth. You do not need to have technical background. I mean, it's great that you have because you can talk to engineer, communicate engineer easier, which is what I found at my job right now. I have the biggest style when I'm in my role. I talk to my managers, I talk to my PM peers. Now, like I get to know them more. I'm like, hey, I don't have technical background. Is that okay? And they're like, you are totally fine. You just need to communicate the customer pain point. So if you are like me, 
you are you need uh, you have customer background be proud because you can talk to the customers yeah so, exactly yeah we um, have seen a lot of people actually more than half of our students do not know how to code no technical background at all no even n- like no technical degree at all but they all like become a product manager i think lots of people just think about because tech company the name is like tech uh and they thought oh i i i need a computer science degree and then once you spend thousand dollars on computer science degree you still couldn't become a pm because they don't exactly. know how pm works exactly yeah, it's, it's a myth yesterday yesterday i was talking uh and my colleague in the social event and then she was like i don't know how to reach out to customers i'm so afraid to talk to them and then i'm like oh okay and then at that point i'm like okay yes i am worth it like it's a worth like yes i i i have value so i think people who have customer background you guys need to be proud oh this is amazing and especially verified by your coworkers yes and then um i used to work at uber so i i i work at uber uh, i work with the uxr to do like survey i uh, to do like interview with the customers and that's like just up level of me you know even though i don't have legit pm titles but i have project where i can showcase myself i can prove myself i remember when i was joining this program then see i was talking to him i don't have experience and you're like tina like you need to move away from this mindset like if you just keep having this mindset like you're not be able to land a job because i think i don't have experience but all these little project actually count for me yeah. to talk to the customer like just do random stuff not random stuff but like valuable stuff it helps Yeah, exactly. Lots of people actually do have the relevant experience, but, but they, they never speak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they don't know. Exactly. They yeah. don't know until they start to learn the end-to-end product management by methodology. Is oh, light bulb moment. I, think, I had it. Yeah, I think what's like different in your program is because you like talk to your students one-on-one every time. It's not. It's not like you come to class and then you teach the course and bye. See you later. You're like, okay, here, let me help you. Tell me your story, and then you're very good at picking out student story. And then tell the student, "Hey, Tina, like you're actually good at this. You, this is really important. You should have, you help the students to realize what they are good at. I think that's like different. So I know what I'm good at because before I'm like, oh, I know nothing. I'm not valuable. I don't know anything. I cannot get a job. Yeah. No, it's like, well, highlight your customer experience. Yeah. You're owning yes. this. Like, yes. Yes. Awesome. Yes. I didn't so, know it was worth it, but yeah. Awesome. So now talk about about not able to land interviews. How do you get thirty percent jump? Um, so again, like I touched on, um, I had relevant experience working on projects, but I don't know how to use like the PM lingo. For example, um, I do like customer interview, but I don't know that's all user research. Um, mm-hmm. For example, I uh, I talk to the customer and they want something, and then I share these like whatever feature they want to the to the product team, and that's filing or sharing pain points. That's pain points. And I just don't know. Like I need to use this like keywords. And after you know, like working with you and then working with um, the the recruiters in the program, then they help me to. Oh, they teach me how to write it in a PM way versus me just writing it as me like writing a bullet point. More effective and more efficient and more like able to highlight my experience in like the PM field. Yeah, exactly. Actually, we have a YouTube video about different kind of keywords people need to put on their resume, and you guys can check it on top of this video. Once you yeah. switch the mindset, immediately increase the success rate like thirty percent more right away. Awesome. So now let's talk about your third challenge, which is you said you don't have experience. We kind of mentioned earlier, right? Yes. Um. Yeah. The third challenge is also like my biggest worry. I was worried because I think I don't have experience, but I think what um. How I overcome with this challenge is that one tips I found are really helpful is I go on LinkedIn and I look at different job posting and I will highlight each job posting's requirement and keywords. I'll be like, oh, like this. I think I know how to do this. I did it before, and then I just kind of like use that keywords and then make portfolio product portfolio, which Nancy like you really help us to you know create a product portfolio, highlight all the experience that other job posting has. And then showcase it and send it to hiring managers, send it to like the uh, uh, HR to showcase. Even though I don't have experience, but I've done something similar before. Trust me. So that's like actually help as well. And then also like practice doing this actually helped me practice uh, my PM skill set in the in the, in the job. So one of the thing that Nancy touched on before in in the program is creating a product persona, uh, uh, customer persona. 
Yeah. And then you touch on that so much. And I remember, remember for the first time I created, you then you're like, no, this is wrong. Like do this, do this, and then you give me so much feedback. But I learn. And then the the first the first three months when I first hired at zero, I created customer persona for my company. My manager was impressed. He was like, oh my god, this is great. So I learned. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome, mind blown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I love to see all of you guys just improve, master real skills. I think that's the fun part. Learning a job, getting paid, is not about just getting paid. It's about yeah. actually you love the product, and then starting from day one, you create amazing customer persona. This is beautiful. Yeah, awesome. And so, Tina, can you tell us what's the biggest mindset shift that you had to push you to the next level? I think the biggest mindset shift that I ha- that I had was when I start. Getting、uh, interview calls, and then when I start like passing like first rounds of interview and second rounds of interview, and then keep coming back to the program and keep like mock interviewing with you, and then with other mentors, and then just keep improving, and then knowing this is actually doable, and then this is just like a numbers game. I remember you mentioned this a lot. Like it's not just us. It's not just like the company looking for candidates. It's us looking for right fit as well. So、yeah. I started to have this mind shift where I think that it's okay if I don't get a job because this job is not meant for me. I'm also looking for my for my own job, and that's when I started to feel more confident. I'm like I'm also looking for my fit. It's not just they are looking for their fit, and then I like started to present more confident, and、um, it and then and then just it just worked out because I'm like presenting more confident, and then yeah, I think that's. Yeah, this is awesome, and I do like the insight you shared regarding. It's like dating process. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's you need to choose the other guy. You cannot let the guys choosing you. It's opposite. It's wrong. Women、yes. to take all the power in dating.、Yes. Same thing、yes. as for job hunting as well. So I think, I think、yeah. this really helps. Like have, I, I think I remember <clears throat> before I went on all my interview before before I like hop on the Zoom. I just I really like take a deep breath. It's okay. I'm also finding my fit. It's fine if it doesn't work out. You know, like the universe, it's gonna send the right fit for me. It's totally fine. And then that just like calm me down and then make me more confident. This it sounds、awesome. it sounds weird, but yes, it works. <laughs> Yeah, yeah.、Uh, later on, I, I told others a new trick, which is very funny. Was about during the、um, uh, during the pandemic. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, during the layoff seasons, we're going through layoff season right now. It's an arranged marriage match, not just <laughs> random match. Like become an arranged marriage match, have a perfect match, but it's still a match process.、Um, yeah, change your mindset, change your life. Hey guys,、exactly. like this is a golden tip you had today. Exactly.、Um, so Tina, you have been a product manager for eight months already.、Mm-hmm. So tell us, what do you do like a PM like? Thirty seconds. What do you do as a PM、yeah. every day? People are very confused. I think what I do as a PM, it's literally what Nancy's program mentioned. We write user story, we write、uh, acceptance criteria, we create customer persona, we prioritize the roadmap, and then we make decisions based on you know different criteria that we learn in the program, impact, risk, all that thing you know. Uh, we communicate with stakeholders. You be a really good collaborator and communicator. So then, when you are shipping and launching product, you don't step on each other's toes, and then just launch, reiterate, A/B testing. Awesome, sounds very simple. But you do need to watch her day in life as a product manager. I'm <laughs> gonna put right here. It's also on her YouTube video, which has all the details, behind scenes stories, and actually, I really love、uh, the pacing, the music, very chill.、Mm. Uh, on Friday night, when we don't watch like Netflix videos, we watch it on YouTube. <laughs> <channels. laughs> This is <amazing. laughs> awesome. I'm gonna put it up there.、Uh, so, Tina. What advice do you have for others who want to start the PM career, especially have just gone through the process yourself?、Um, if they want to start a PM career, what advice I would get? If、um, I would give advice to people who are similar to my background, which is having no PM experience, or re- or only have like small relevant product、uh, PM experience, which is just keep applying, keep mock interviewing, and keep working on side projects. Because side project is where you can practice. It's not just like showcasing the project to the to the interviewer. It's own. It's also for you to practice. How can you be a good product manager? Creating portfolio, pick a product you're interested in, and then going through like the product life cycle. I think that it's what really improved me the most. I learned from not knowing how to write、uh, acceptance criteria to know how to write acceptance criteria, and this is what I need to do on my job day to day. 
each product that I build, I need to write acceptance criteria. How to create a persona, a customer persona. It's not just like as mentioned, like as you mentioned, Nancy. It's not just about about right, finding a job. It's about can you do the job once you land a job too. So, doing creating product portfolio, not just helping you to land a job, but also helping you to you know not get fired <laughs> after you have a job. Exactly. Actually, we have to actually get promoted. I also want all my students. Uh, oh, Mini got promoted within a year wow. in her new job. You okay. you have four months to go. You might get promoted as well. Oh. She she start to manage people now. She became a wow. group manager in a wow. year. Wow, good for her. Yeah, awesome. We have great chance continue working on a great job. This is amazing, Tina. Awesome. Okay, great. So everybody, thank you so much for joining us, and thank you, Tina, for sharing all the amazing advice with other people. And actually, Tina brought in a very important part. I want to highlight this for everybody. It's very important you exercise the PM skills before you even start your PM job, and also get feedback regarding writing requirement. Not just the writing; everyone knows how to write, but most people do not write good requirements, right? So people need to learn how to do better.、Um, so we have the product portfolio methodology. Anyone can just use the same methodology. We have like free training on product portfolio, free tools. I'm gonna list all the free product portfolio tools、uh, in this video and also in the description of this video, and you guys should just. Get started right away. Started for free. Awesome. Oh,、uh, anybody who's interested in PM Accelerator, feel free to go to our website pmaccelerator.io to learn more. I'm looking forward to see all of you guys being a successful product manager in the long run. Awesome, awesome. So Tina, thank you for joining us, and so great to see everyone here. And any last minute、uh, tip you want to give others, and also how others could find you in the future. You know, you guys can do it even without experience because I did it, so you guys can do it too. Believe in yourself, be confident, and you know, just off you go. You will be great. And if you wanna have question, more questions from me, feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. And also, I have a YouTube channel. I share about everything about PM, how I land a job, my journey, day to day, day in life. Go check it out. Awesome. So we're gonna link it in the description of this video. And、uh, if you find this video very valuable, make sure to like, share this video with any aspiring product manager. And comment below. Let me know if any other questions. I love to see all of you guys become successful product manager in the future. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PM Accelerator. Oh, I'm gonna see you in the next time. Bye, guys. Bye.